Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. That. Stop it. On your knees. On your knees. Hey. No. Stop this thing off. They're here. Am I speaking to Benjamin Linus? That's right. I'd like you to go look out your east window and talk about this face to face. Ben and his daughter, I mean, that's a pretty excruciating scene. Close the window. And action. And Kevin came in and had the idea to do that friendly wave he does, which is so creepy, knowing what his agenda is. You see me? Yeah, I see you. Hey, Mike. So I know exactly what kind of a man you are, Mr. Kimi. And we can dispense with the formalities. You got it. And Tanya did a brilliant job coming with all that emotion. And it's one of those scenes where when the camera gets really close, you really need to see the panic in Alex's eyes and what it feels like for that girl to have that cold steel in the back of her neck and to beg her daddy to help her. Dad, help me! Please, please! Alex. It takes a lot for Alex to call Ben dad because she feels like he wasn't really a father to her in many ways. But I feel like after witnessing her mother's death, Carl's death, that she's just completely devastated. She's not my daughter. She means nothing to me. When she hears from Ben that he doesn't care about her and all that, I mean, she really believes it and it just, you know, after that, I guess she's just waiting for it at that point. Ben makes a tactical error, and it cost him dearly. There was a human toll. And it's the only thing, I think, that tethers him to the world and keeps him from becoming something monstrous. Now Ben has nothing to lose.